Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure AD application and service principle that can access resources. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and as mentioned we will create the uh, new Azure uh, Active Directory application and service principle that can be used with the role-based access control. See, when you have applications, you have hosted services or automated tools that needs to access or modify resources, you can create an identity for that application. This identity is known as a service principle like SPN. Access to resources is restricted by the roles assigned to the service principle, giving us the control over which resources can be accessed and at which level. So what exactly are the app registrations, app objects and service principle? There is no way to directly create a service principle using the Azure portal. When you register an application through the Azure portal, an application object and service principle are automatically created in the home directory or your Azure AD tenant. You can read more about it uh, on the application and service principle objects specifically related to Azure AD documentation. And when it comes to permissions required for registering an app, you should have sufficient permissions to register an application AD. You should have at least contributed access, I believe. So if I go to check my permissions, I would go to my Azure AD. And let's say if you have uh, a user role or you have the owner role or whatever role it is. Let me pause it and come back. I'm facing some internet issues. Let's see if it comes out now. Okay, so I'm here. So if I go to the users tab, and this is the my I I am the only user here because I created few and then deleted those. And if you would see all users and if you will go to user settings. And under the app registration, it says user can register applications. It is toggle to own. It is toggle to yes. So if it is set to yes, that any user in the Azure AD tenant can register an app. And if the app registration setting is set to no, only users with an admin role may register uh, the types of app. Right. So it's really useful to check this setting before you're trying to register any application. And now you also would have to check the Azure subscription permissions as well. So as per the documentation, you should have or any account that is trying to register an application should have uh, the right access to assign a role to an AD app. So this action is granted through the owner or the user access administrator role. So let's say if you want to do then I would go to my home button then I would go to my subscription. I click on my subscription. And if you go here, you would see this option, my permission under settings, click on it. It is loading the data. It says your account this has been assigned the role user access administrator and has access to on this subscription. And you can click on view to select the role into the view tab and any other permission. So now when it comes to registering an app with Azure AD and create a service principle, you go back to your Azure AD where we were before. You go to app registrations. Come up. Now you 
see this option new registration now you have to name the application select a supported account type which determines who can use the application right so let's say we can do here example app let me off the example app you can do anything and under the supported account types who can use this application to access the api i see accounts in this organizational directory only right and you select any other option as well and uh, redirect ui so if you want to create a redirect ui select the web for it option you would get web and uh, single pane application go for the web and in the example you can type in anything https backslash so this is for the example that i am typing in you can choose uh, your application name click on register it is creating the application application has been created now you see the application id tenant id directory id object id everything that is the that is associated with this one now if you want to assign a role to the application and uh, then you would have to uh, we can set the scope at the level of the subscription resource group or resource because permissions are inherited to lower levels of scope for example adding an application to the reader role for a resource group means it can read the resource group and any other resource it contains so this is my example app right and i open up a new page i go to azure portal again right and let's say if i go to any let's say i go to my resource group i click on this and i want to add a real assignment i go here and now i will select the role i wish to assign to this application uh, let's say for example to allow the application to execute actions like reboot start and stop instances the virtual machines i would go for the contributor role i select contributor i would select my uh, application so i remember the name because i just created it i would go type in the name it will come up i select it and i click on save so now if i want to automate my restart shutdown any other process act like a service account for my uh, operations stuff that i want to do through automation on my azure portal and uh, one more thing that when programmatically signing in we need to pass the tenant id with the authentication request and the application id and we also need a certificate or uh, you see the authentication key so if you go back to your example application you see this directory id you can enter this in your code and you can see this application id this is the id of your your app just to, that you have created in your azure id and now if you want to upload a certificate or create a secret for signing in so there are two types of authentication available for service principal one is password based authentication and the one is certificate based authentication so i'll continue it in the next video so that you guys do not get bored with the too much of the stuff in one go so let me come back with it and continue it in the next video that i'll, I'll upload later so i hope you enjoyed it if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day